right, we're still at the 2018 Pacificon, and we're standing in front of the ARRL, ARRL, Amateur Radio Booth. And here we've got Bob from the ARRL, and we're going to ask Bob a few questions. And the first one we're going to ask him, Bob, what can the ARRL do for the average ham radio operator, and what's really, what's really your function? Sure, sure. Uh, at ARRL, I'm the marketing manager, and one of the areas that I'm directly responsible for is ARRL publications and products. Um, we have over 500 products in an ARRL warehouse in Newington, Connecticut, and it's all about building knowledge base for radio amateurs, training them, moving them to higher levels of activity, technical understanding, public service involvement. So uh, that's sort of the full scope of, of why we produce publications. Amateur radio licensing is super, but it's a first step towards a lifelong learning goal in amateur radio, and we hope to feed that spirit of all radio amateurs. Right, so what I'm curious about is I hear all the time people say, hey, are you an ARRL <laughs> member? Uh, and why would one want to be an ARRL member? And other than just, I know you have the uh, QST magazine, sure. and there's other publications. So uh, you mentioned a uh, knowledge base or knowledge source. It sounds like uh, our fellow amateur radio operators, uh, new and old, could get a lot of cool stuff from you guys. Yeah, you know, with 32,000 new licensees coming into amateur radio every year, there's no shortage of people who are becoming hams. I hear, I hear people even at this con convention lamenting that there aren't more young people, for instance, involved in amateur radio, or why there are not more. But what we forget is that there are 32,000 new licensees coming in to amateur radio every year. Wow. Our job as an association is to move people towards becoming active, involved, and on the air with amateur radio. And we can't do it from Connecticut, where ARL is located. It requires a synergy between us and member volunteers. So ARL has different programs, services, products, membership, all intended to move people towards being active, involved, and on the air. That's what separates a new licensee in the FCC database from a licensee who's on the air and involved, is uh, that they're plugged in. So what does membership do? It plugs people in, and together, members are advancing the art, science, and enjoyment of, of our amateur radio service. That's great. So would it be fair to say that the ARRL could, uh, is a, an advocate for Hamburg Amateur Radio? Sure. Uh, a lot of people will say that amateur radio might not exist at all today if it were not for the efforts of ARRL and our member volunteers. Um, from international advocacy, where we sit at the table with uh, world radio bodies that are looking to figure out what to do with frequencies in the future, ARRL waves ham radio around as an integral part of, of, of domestic radio communication plans for both emergencies and advancing the technical art of radio. So um, I'm hopeful that uh, because of the work works of ARL and our members uh, that colleges and universities pay attention to young hams as 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 ripe for becoming engineers and future future contributors to to our uh, career uh, uh, building in this country. Well, very good. Well, thank you, Bob, for that. And by the way, I am an ARRL well, member, you. and I do receive some of the publications, and I enjoy them very much. 